You know, have you got a little bit of alcohol to flame the uh, chicken? Because I, uh, what are you making? A beautiful carbonara. Carb <laughs> So this week we're looking at the one big problem that I've found with motorhomes. Now I'm not trying to start a debate about caravans and motorhomes because there's not one thing that suits everybody better, there's always going to be one or the other. But the one issue that I do have is cooking space in the motorhomes. I tend to find that we are a little bit limited and it can sometimes cause problems. If you've got a little bit of alcohol to flame the uh, chicken because I of have the job. Okay, give it a good shake. What the f now, with disadvantages, there also is the advantages, and this is where you don't get anything like this with a caravan, but on a motorhome, it works really well. And this is where we can actually fix our problem of not having a massive kitchen. So again, we're in a lovely, lovely motorhome, £56,000, but again, just not the biggest of kitchen areas. So this week's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, so I'm just getting ready to actually start cooking in our motorhome. And then it seems that even when we do get a slightly bigger area for cooking in the kitchen, we've still not got a huge amount of prep area. Now, in a caravan, a uh, sl slightly smaller layout as well, to be fair, uh, still not a huge amount of room for preparation and cooking, but we have still got the little side unit, we've got a little fold-up unit, so we do, I don't know, we just always tend to get a little, little bit more cooking space in the caravan than in the motorhome, which is the, the one big thing that I always find. But coming back to the motorhome, as I say, we don't get anything like this with a caravan and this is where our big benefits come in because we've got enough room for tables, chairs, we've even got a 12 volt socket within here so we can plug in a little cool box so we've got extra fridge space. Who's unplugged the uh, cool box? I had to charge my phone up. The smell. If this was your oyster, I would have every respect and keep them nice and cool. <laughs> now, in some of the more modern motorhomes like this, we do get really, really good fridges. And then we also get, as well as all that, we can get our proper fixed beds. And this is where our bed up on high, that gives us then that big garage, which we don't see in the caravans. Now, the reason that we're looking at cooking and using the inside space is this week we are doing hello fresh again so we've been cooking different meals we've got the beef mince bean red wine hot pot this is one of the under 650 calorie meals I've got five of our five a day so this is what we're going to be enjoying today I've got the potatoes on but everything there is chopped up ready so we've got our minced all done and we're starting now to add all the ingredients so I now reduce the sauce and all the meat red for oh, the magic. Oh yes. Voila. I almost forgot to actually show you what it looks like on the plate. And we've also got you a discount code that's coming up now where you can save 60%. Now using our discount code again that's coming up on the bottom now, we get 60% off, but we also get a further discount on the next two months. So during this time when when it's a little bit tighter over Christmas and the New Year, we can actually save a lot of money and you're not going to be able to actually go out and buy all the ingredients for what it's going to cost you. So if you've not already tried the HelloFresh, use the code below, give it a go and it's going to save you a fair bit of money over this Christmas period and it's also going to give you some delicious meals that we can all cook as a family. Now, with the motorhome, what we can do, if we've got a smaller kitchen area, is, as I was saying, with that boot space, we've got loads of room for tables, chairs, coolers. So outside, with our awning, we can easily set up another cooking area and another little kitchen area. So we don't actually have to use the main internal cooking facilities. On this motorhome, we've got our external barbecue point. So again, if we want to connect up our barbecue on the outside for cooking, and then we've still got the, the main oven and grill within the caravan so we can still be using the internal items but then utilize the outside space during the summer and again obviously a motorhome is fantastic for the european adventures away and we get that little bit more better weather as well in this deathless sunlight we've got the nice big locker that goes underneath of our bed so again barbecues etc we can slide in really easily tables and chairs and it gives us a big nice 
usable storage space which again we can get in the caravans but we don't get a big deep locker like that in the caravans like we do in the motorhomes again if you're used to driving an automatic vehicle this death of sun like this is on the automatic chassis so again we can also get the automatic so uh, if it is that you're thinking about towing or going for a motorhome but you're not quite sure on the actual towing aspect but you drive an automatic vehicle again that isn't going to cause us any issues we've got the automatic motorhomes as well so it's it's never going to be a one size fits all um one thing is better than the other it's not it's depending on what your circumstances are and what's actually going to suit you best um, but it's just that i have found that actually cooking within the the motorhome it's just a li little bit more limited space and we do need that proper setup outside but the motorhome gives us that extra bit of space to be able to put the extra storage in and we've not got to be sort of thinking about where do we put things like in a caravan again if we're towing in the caravan if we're storing heavy items so you've got that bit more bulkier items that you're going to put in with the caravan we want to make sure that we put it over the axle and towards the front of the caravan and we're not then putting too much weight at the back of the caravan because that is going to cause us problems actually towing now make sure that you get your comments in because this week we're going to be giving away if you've not already ordered from hellofresh a gift card voucher so that you can try hellofresh for free if you've already tried hellofresh previously we're going to be giving away a hitch cover so make sure you get your comments in there's lots of different options on there with different meals every week coming up to christmas especially there's some more different varieties on there if we're doing the low calories so during the the week that we've used it just recently i was i was trying to get the low calories meal so that's something that i've used and again that was absolutely delicious as we mentioned before but there's a huge range of meals within the hello fresh um, all different dietary requirements low calories the deluxe range which again the first time that we did it i, I tried and that was absolutely delicious on these colder darker nights the last thing that we really want to be doing is well, especially when we're in the motorhome is going out and having to do shopping finding things and that's where hello fresh really comes in we can have the products delivered to home literally it comes in the bags we can put it into our fridge in the caravan or motorhome and everything's there we're not going to go out finding all different ingredients and then it's just a case of cooking and we can do that together either as a couple or as a family our daughter really loves getting involved and she feels quite grown up going through the process and feels like a bit of a chef so hopefully if you're thinking about going for a motorhome but you're a little bit worried about the actual area that you've got to cook in and you like cooking etc hopefully by using the outside area a little bit more it just gives you that opportunity to sort of look at a smaller kitchen within the motorhome and it's not going to then put you off quite a lot of the motorhomes that are out there with the smaller kitchens there is ways around it so hopefully this video has helped if it has hit the subscribe button hit the like button and drop us a comment thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place it's the pigs in blanket burger so we've got our menu our wedges are on so on with the rest of the recipe and the bacon is on boy i am looking forward to this burger and the actual burgers now and that is looking pretty good.